Hello and welcome to Easton Adventures. Today we are out at Hyde Farm, uh, Hyde Farm Pond right behind me. You can see the fountain going. Uh, we're gonna try to catch some fish today, use a variety of baits, probably uh, a chopo and a Texas rig and see what we can catch. <laughs> Oh, oh, he took the tail. Must have been something small, but he had a hold of it. Let's see if we can go back and... A good strike, though. Must have just not had it good enough. It's a good sign we got a hit. Now I gotta put on a new worm. Looks like there's some cover out in the water out there, so... I'll give it a shot. See those two little tiny sticks sticking up out of the water, so... If there'd be anything out there or not. Come on now, they got the Texas rig on. I should be able to get right off of that. Dang it. Well, I guess we're trying the Chapo. All right, well, we got the Chapo on here. It's not the Berkeley Chapo, it's the Walmart Chapo. So, I don't know how effective it would be. I know I see tons of people catching fish on these things. Got it one, got one on the chopo. Holy cow my first one on a chopo <laughs> and look at the little fish taking on this huge bait man yes all right hey that I, that might be my first topwater fish ever and i liked it, it was a nice little blow up all right well we got us a tiny little bass on the chopos first ever topwater hit for me i think so it's pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and put him back and see if we can catch some other ones Seems like the perfect bank right here. Bunch of stuff in the water along the bank. Plenty of places for little fish to hide. All right, well, we got about 15 minutes of fishing left. Got one, got one on the top of good, yes. Trying to pull me into those weeds. Oh, he's doing it too. All right, another little guy, but he put up a fight, man. You put up a good fight. Well, just when I was about to put down the chopo, got another bass. <laughs> he is hooked good. There we go. All right, well bass number two, he's a little bit bigger. It's still not very big, but it's a pretty small lake, so I don't know how big the bass actually get in here, but there we go, number two. Go on back, buddy. So I'm actually standing on top of a beaver dam right now, like a literal beaver dam. I'm gonna continue throwing the chopper now. We've already caught two fish on it. I think we're in it to win it with this guy. All right, well, we're coming out to kind of the open water here. We've been around some cover. So we'll try this out out here. Let's see if we can find a fish swimming along the banks looking for an easy meal. Well, no matter what, we got a first today. Got our first catch on the Chapo. And I think it's probably my first catch using a, a black bait as well. This is what I'm using here. The Ozark Trail Chapo. Um, doesn't seem to spin great. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Doesn't make as much noise as I thought it would, but so far it's doing the trick. We only have about an hour this morning, so. 
two fish is never a bad thing in an hour. Got another one right here at the bank. All right, number three. Holy cow. Another little bass. But man, they're attacking these little, this big bait. This big bait for them. All right, well, we've got bass number three on the Berkeley Chapo in the small lake. And like I said, I've never been able to catch anything here before. So after trying a bunch of other baits, maybe the Chapo is the way to go on this lake. Maybe not too many people have used it. But another little bass. Let's go ahead and throw him back and try for another one. Well, we got three. Would love to make it four. On the Chapo, losing my Texas rig in one of my first casts was definitely a blessing in disguise. Okay. Oh, got one, yes. Number four. Oh, oh, he got tangled up in this thing. It's gonna be ugly. Yeah, buddy, you just messed up. Yeah. All right, he actually came out pretty good despite the fact he's up in the back. All right, I got a fourth one. Another tiny one. This must be about the biggest size. Well, the biggest size is the, one I, the second one I caught. Pretty good size bass for this lake, it looks like it's, it looks to be about the normal size, but they're trying to eat fish that are half their size. So, all right, we got four for the day. All right, well, I got to head out. That was just about an hour of fishing, caught four fish. I uh, can't ask for anything better on a nice morning just before work. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.